Welcome back, everybody. Did you know that radon is the number one leading cause of lung cancer in non-smokers? It's also important to know that Wisconsin homes have high levels of radon. That's right. So today where it comes from, why it's so bad and what you can do to see if it's in your home. Joining us today because January is radon action month is Bill Brink. That's right. We've had an owner of Kettle Moraine Heating and Air Conditioning along with Brian Kenahan from April Air. Good to have you guys here. Good morning. Good morning. Great yeah, so here. January, an important month for radon action awareness. Um, just kind of go through a little bit about what radon is. A lot of people have heard it, but they're not real familiar with, with the details. I'll take over on that one. That's great. It's odorless, invisible, tasteless, right? So kind of like carbon monoxide. Very similar, right? Mm -hmm. So you okay. never know what's there. The only way to know what's there is the test and it's ever changing. And that's a weird dynamic for consumers, right? Yeah. Because we were talking right before we got on, your, your, your friend tested, home was high, mm -hmm. you put a system in, right? That's the only time you ever test. He's typically. never tested again. That, and that's why we're here, right? <laughs> that's, that's why we're in it. That's yeah. why we're here. Yeah. Okay, so those are things to know about it. Radon is the number one leading cause, as Molly said, of, of non-smoking lung cancer. I've said it many times on the show before. My aunt had lung cancer, never smoked a day in her life. They knew that the house she grew up in was very high in radon, as well as the one she lived in later, so they are assuming that it was from radon. She did not, she passed on. And I think some, a lot of people know somebody who was not a smoker that got lung cancer, and oftentimes it is from radon. It's a huge reason that you should protect the ones you love. For sure, health and safety of your family is uh, paramount to anything, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Where does radon come from? The earth. Uh, it's just a gas that naturally forms in the earth can be affected by different things like storms and things like that as well. And uh, it rises up into the home. And if you test high in it, you have to mitigate it. Why does Wisconsin have high levels of it? Specifically, southeastern Wisconsin is a, a major hotspot for it. Mm -hmm. So it's one thing to, and that's one of the reasons why we're giving away a thousand free test kits. Yeah, I like yep. it. Well, is that why the two of you have partnered or what's the connection here between you two? Oh. So April Air, manufacturer, where it came from, it's interesting. I'm sorry to hear about that story. You hear Thank that you. too often, yeah. right? Is about four years ago, our CEO, Dale Philby, where we partnered with American Lung Association for mm -hmm. some, other, some of our other products. And he asked, he goes, well, you know, the CEO goes, why, why aren't you in radon? You guys could help us. We're like, should we be in it? Really? It's number one leading cause of lung yeah. cancer in non-smokers. Okay, you know, got punched to an indoor air quality company based out of Madison, Wisconsin. So yeah. that's, now we're in it and, you know, our, our, our home service providers like Bill's company, think about all the homes they're in. Yeah. So to go outside the real estate transaction, Bill's yep. team's in thousands and thousands of homes every year. Well, that's the thing I was going to say is that's the only time I ever hear about it mm -hmm. is when it comes to buying, buying and selling a home yeah. and people will, you know, make notes of it. They'll do testing. Sometimes it's part of a home inspection. Mm -hmm. um, so that's oftentimes the only time it comes up for people or it's part of the vernacular, I think. But um, would you say if you've never had your home tested, you should test to Extremely. see what your radon level is? Extremely important. And it's, imagine you um, redoing your rec room in the basement for the family to lounge in and, mm -hmm. and all of that stuff is coming up through that basement floor. So uh, it's even better for when you're doing a rec room and stuff like that too, also to think about it as well. Mm -hmm. So if someone finds out, they test, they, they see that the levels are high, what's the next step? Is it always to have this like mitigation system? So I have a spe specialist on staff. They'll come over to your home for free and do a free no obligation estimate. They tell you all the different kind of things that we have to do to do that mitigation, where this will go and mm -hmm. how it will look. And then uh, we can do the installation generally is about a, a one day thing. After the installation, service is going to be important too because you have to retest. The levels can change and some things, the fans can break and just normal wear and tear maintenance items. Hmm. So we do maintenance as well. So what, what is this here? Where does this go if, if somebody needs this in their house to mitigate radon? So this pipe here would actually be drilled into the foundation of your home through the concrete and the floor in the basement. And then this piping goes to the outside of the home. This fan is mounted on the outside of the home, and then this stack would rise above the home to get those uh, emissions uh, well far so away this, from anywhere. It comes out past the roof? Past the roof line. Higher yeah. than the roof line. Oh, yep. so this is actually quite long in real life once yeah. it's installed. 
One of the things I would urge our, uh, uh, our audience to do is when they walk through the subdivision at nighttime with their family or their dogs, and they see these on the outside of their neighbor's houses, but then they go home and they don't have one. <laughs> yes. Those areas would be hot spots. You so. need one. Yep. Keep up go. with the Joneses. And, <laughs> <laughs> and like you said in the beginning a, a bit, and I had asked you during the break, so if you have one, a lot of people probably then think, well, I have one. I don't need to do anything. But you said you should still you test should every still year. Test every year. Yeah. And why would that be? Well, sometimes, you know, uh, all things break, right? Yeah. Our cars break, our furnaces break, fans can break too. Uh, sometimes because of uh, how these are outside, sometimes animals can get inside of them and build a nest. Sometimes you can have an electrical issue. Actually, one time I had a customer where the lady was like, well, I just unplugged this because I didn't like the noise of it. Oh. Yeah. Well, she didn't know what it was. Don't yeah. do that. You know? Don't do that. No, Great don't information, do that. guys. Thank you so much. An yeah. important note for all of us homeowners. Really appreciate your time. Yeah, thanks so much. Kettle Marine Heating and April Air have partnered together to give away those free radon test kits to you, to homeowners. So to get your free test kit, scan the QR code. You're getting used to this right now on your screen. Hold up your little camera to that and you can click on it. Or you can call them. It's 262-221-9323 or visit their website, which is kmheat.com slash tmb radon. That's where you can get that free test kit.